Hello, artists! You already know that artists create ideas from five different sources. They create ideas they can see with their eyes, feel in their heart, remember or imagine in their mind, and they experiment with materials. Every artist gets stuck and has difficulty thinking of an idea once in a while. So what should you do if you cannot think of an idea? Work for it. Artists dip into their toolbox and use various strategies to help them think of an idea. Today, we will open a new studio called the Idea Station. In this video, we will go over directions for how to use and take care of these supplies. This video was made in collaboration with Ms. Hanker, another art teacher. Some of our materials may look a little different, but they can do the same things. So what is the Idea Station? The Idea Station contains many tools and strategies that can be used to help inspire ideas. Sometimes artists need help choosing ideas for their art. We will explore what tools are located in the Idea Station, as well as how to use those tools for inspiration. What tools are in the Idea Station? Books about art and artists, still life objects, mirrors, comic book templates, art games, art puzzles, and a miniature imagination playground block set. Here are eight idea generation strategies to help you out. Strategy number one, look at or read books. Artists read and do research. Take a look at this color-coded sticker chart. There are many books about every studio you can create in, the studio habits of mind, or ways of thinking like an artist, museums and galleries, as well as stories. Choose a book and take it back to your workspace. You can choose to read the book or just take your eyes on a little walk and admire the illustrations. Try to make a connection with something in the book, such as the story, artist, art style, or illustrations, and use this to fuel an idea of your own. Strategy number two, draw from observation. The still life objects are different plastic foods and animals along with materials found in nature. They are used to recreate something in an artwork. Arrange your objects in an interesting way. Draw the object closest to you first with the pencil so that you can erase. This object goes lower on the paper. Notice the different parts of the object and what shapes you see. Draw what you see by looking back and forth from your paper and the objects. When you are done drawing, you can add color with paint, other drawing supplies, or even collage paper. You can also choose to draw a single object. This skill takes lots of practice, so erase often and be patient with yourself. Strategy number three, draw a self-portrait. The mirrors are for looking at and recreating as an artwork. Mirrors are great tools to create self-portraits. A portrait is a picture of a person, so a self-portrait is a picture of yourself. You can share a mirror with a buddy because they are double-sided. Strategy number four, create a comic. Comics and comic books are stories that are told through images and words that are organized in panels or boxes. You might have read comics before, like Dog Man or Captain Underpants. Artists use different comic templates to tell their stories depending on how much room they need for certain panels. Fill the panels in from left to right with your drawings and then top to bottom using characters, words, and backgrounds to help tell your story. Start with a pencil so you can erase any mistakes. The final thing you should add to your artwork is black outlines and or color. This is called inking and it is the finishing touch on your comic. Strategy number five, use a how to draw book. Due to limited space, the how to draw books are actually located in the drawing studio. They can be used to inspire ideas of your own and they can help improve your drawing craftsmanship. How to draw books show the steps of how to draw different objects, animals, people, and creatures. Find a book that has images you are interested in. When you find the images you want to draw, you will see step-by-step -step instructions. If you find it helpful to follow the instructions as they are written, you can do that. 
You can also look at the final image and try to recreate it without going through all the steps. The step-by-step -step directions are helpful because they help you make sure the proportions are correct. Discover which way is best for you. Strategy number six, play a game. Choose a roll a dice game and get a dice. Roll your dice matching the row and column to the number that you drew. Draw the image you see in that box. Roll again, matching the row and column to see what detail you'll be adding to your picture next. You can develop your drawings further by adding color with drawing materials. You might start the game all over again so that you can add characters or additional pictures to your drawing. These dice are called story cubes. Roll the pair of dice and create an artwork based on the two pictures you rolled. How can you connect these two objects or ideas together into an artwork? Use your imagination and don't forget to have a sense of humor. Your art idea might be wild and crazy. Add color with drawing or painting materials. Strategy number seven, solve a puzzle. Creative thinking involves the ability to solve problems. You can strengthen your creative thinking skills by combining play and logic. Try solving one of these puzzles or study how the puzzle was put together. Perhaps the colors, shapes, or patterns will spark an idea. The example on the left is a photo cut into puzzle pieces. You could cut up an old painting, drawing, or collage. This puzzle has only one solution. The example on the right is an abstract painting cut into tanagram pieces that can be combined in many ways to create images. You could glue an old artwork to a piece of cardboard, then cut it into pieces. Strategy number eight. Sculpt with the Miniature Imagination Playground Blocks. Bring the container of mini Imagination Playground Blocks to your workspace and create a sculpture. The possibilities are endless. When your sculpture is complete, you can take a picture of it or draw your sculpture and expand on it in another studio. Rules. Number one, only use materials for idea generation and art making. Number two, Still life objects are not to be used as fidgets. They are only to be used for observational drawing. Number three, keep the materials away from wet media like paint or glue. When you are ready to add color to your ideas, bring your artwork to the drawing collage or paint studio. Number four, instead of drawing inside the how to draw books, work in your sketchbook or on a loose piece of paper. Number five, the mirrors are an ask me item. Share, do not pull on them or they will break. Make sure to reset the idea station at the end of class and match the tools with the picture labels on the shelves. We can't wait to see what ideas you generate.